Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are uh, new, uh, please uh, subscribe uh, my channel because it uh, really uh, helps for me. Uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, the C++ program uh, that checks uh, the given input uh, from the user uh, is positive, negative or zero. Uh, for the instance, the instruction or the statement is written seems like for this one, how can we solve in C++ programming? Uh, so the instruction is write a C++ program uh, or uh, write a code in C++ program that check the user number or uh, uh, the input is from the user either positive or negative or zero. That able to uh, uh, determine the uh, number of inputs which are positive. For instance, if I give the negative value, uh, it must be say this number is negative. Uh, or uh, the positive number, this number is positive, or uh, if the zero is, uh, the output must be zero. So, uh, write a C++ program that checks the user number is either positive, negative, or zero. Uh, so, for uh, before we go, uh, uh, or before we start the program, let's uh, tell you the general procedure or the algorithm, how this problem is uh, solved. So uh, this is algorithm. Algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure in order to solve one problem. This is a problem. This problem is solved by C++ programming. Uh, the problem is the given number try to identify or uh, um, the program is try to identify the given number is positive, negative or zero. So uh, this is the algorithm. Uh, there is an input number. Uh, start our system or our program. Then there is an input number. This input number is taken from uh, the user or uh, uh, the keyword. Then uh, check this number is positive or negative. If the number is greater than zero, check the first condition. If number is greater than zero, then if this condition is true, display or print the number is positive. If this uh, number is not greater than zero or this condition is false in a sense the value of number is less than zero this is discard and checking this condition but if the number is greater than zero simply display this one and leave this uh, checking the condition and finally terminate the program right so if the number is not greater than zero in a sense if the number greater than zero is false simply check this condition uh, else if a number less than zero if this condition is true or the number less than zero in essence, the number is negative uh, because any number less than zero, it must be negative. So display uh, negative. Uh, if this condition is false, uh, display the given input is zero and finally end or stop the if statement uh, on here and we terminate the program. This is the algorithm, the flowchart. Flowchart uh, is a graphical representation of our algorithm. So uh, read an integer or n uh, from the keyboard uh, or from the user, then uh, check this number is greater than zero. If this condition is true, simply this one is a discard and display the number is positive. If this is not uh, true, in a sense, n less than zero, then come on this condition then the n value is less than zero or the, n, uh, the given input is uh, less than zero uh, which are true uh, simply this one is discard and uh, display the negative if this condition is not true in a sense the n value is not less than zero or the n value is not greater than zero in a sense the n value must be zero and uh, this one is discard and this one is display finally uh, terminate the program so how can we solve this problem uh, with c++ uh, programming or our instruction is write a c++ program that uh, able to check the number is positive uh, or negative or uh, zero uh, from uh, the uh, user so let's uh, begin uh, hash include this uh, library in order to take an input from uh, the keyboard and uh, display an output on the screen. Uh, use the hash include using uh, name space. 
name is case LCD. Uh, these are uh, then uh, int main. These are our main function. This is our main function. Or every instruction written under this curly brackets a return uh, a return uh, zero because our main function is in the main. So we sorry return zero. Then uh, we write uh, the program inside of this. This is uh, the basic structure uh, when you open uh, the code block editor. So. Uh, let us uh, declare the variable int uh, n, then semicolon. Uh, after we declare this variable, uh, we must be uh, taken an input from the user. So see out uh, enter, enter the number. Then uh, let's uh, take in this value in uh, n because our variable is n then check the condition if uh, if n is greater than zero less than zero or uh, equal to zero so uh, if uh, n greater than zero the n value if the given input or the input that we enter on here is greater than zero uh, see out see out the, the number is positive See out for the T uh, or N is positive. You can write the text seems like for this one uh, because uh, it's a string constant and no problem. Then uh, backslash with N in order to begin the new line for the next instruction. Then semicolon. Uh, if uh, N greater than zero or the given input is greater than zero, uh, see out positive. Else if, else uh, if n less than uh, zero uh, see out uh, n is uh, negative n is negative negative then a uh, backslash with n in order to begin the new line again uh, if n uh, it is if if this condition is not true uh, check the next condition which are n less than zero then uh, if this condition is true, uh, n is negative or uh, this take is display, uh, else, uh, else, uh, sorry, else see out uh, n is, okay, uh, n is uh, zero, zero. So, uh, this is a simple, uh, this one uh, backslash with n, uh, you can uh, write or substitute by uh, the keyword uh, indel. Uh, indel, it's the same or have the same uh, function. Indel. And just like that one. You can write on this one, then in the uh, then uh, let me uh, tell you how it works. Uh, for instance, uh, if uh, int n, then we declare the variable on here. Then in order to take an input from the screen, uh, enter the number. This is a string constant that display uh, because it's a text. Uh, and written under the double code, so this text is displayed on the screen. Then uh, taken this input value from the user, which are n. After we have taken this value, check the condition. If n greater than zero, uh, for instance, let me give n as equal to seven. Uh, enter the number, then I give the value uh, of the variable n, which are seven. Then uh, check this condition n greater than zero, the value of n is seven, seven greater than zero is correct. So simply n is positive or this text is displayed, this one and uh, this one is discarded, right? Simply uh, this one is discarded and this is uh, displayed. The first instruction is executed. 
then if the number uh, the n value uh, on this n value I give uh, zero uh, then check the condition if n greater than or uh, greater than zero the value of n is zero zero greater than zero false so this condition is not executed or this condition uh, this instruction is discard then come on this instruction uh, else if n less than zero the value of n is zero, zero less than zero. Still now this is not uh, true, so this n instruction is also discarded. Then come on here, else cell n is zero, so uh, this text is executed. If I give the value of the input is negative nine, negative nine, then if n greater than zero, check this condition, n greater than zero, the value of n is minus nine, minus nine greater than zero, uh, Minus 9 is negative number, so this negative number is not greater than 0. So this condition is false, so this uh, statement is discard. Then uh, check this condition or the next instruction. Uh, n less than 0, negative 9 less than 0 because this is a negative, so this instruction is true. So uh, this statement is executed or this statement is displayed on the screen and this one is discard and this one is uh, discard. So this is uh, a simple uh, C++ program that checks the given number from the user is positive, negative or uh, 0. So let me execute and show the result. Uh, see out the, the, the semicolon on here. Then enter a number. For instance, uh, let me give on here uh, six. Six is uh, positive because it's greater than zero. So uh, n is positive. The text n is positive is displayed on the screen. Right? If I press enter. Uh, n is positive, right? This text is executed because n is greater than zero. So if the number is greater than zero, uh, the text n is greater than zero is displayed. Uh, then uh, let me give another uh, value. For instance, if I give the value of negative nine, uh, negative nine is less than zero. So n. Uh, is negative right so i press uh, enter on here so n is negative this text is displayed because minus nine is less than zero so this number is negative uh, if i give the value uh fold and uh, execute again and enter the n number so if i give the value of zero so n is zero uh, text is displayed so n is zero this is a simple plus plus program uh, how can we uh, check uh, the given number is positive or uh, negative uh, thank you very much for the uh, time uh, don't forget to like subscribe and comment my youtube channel love you guys uh, bye